Hey, what's going on, everybody? This your boy James from What's Your Forte. And today, you know, I was gonna clean the wheels really good, gonna take them off, and I was like, hmm, why don't I go ahead and install the valve stems and floating center caps onto my G80 M3? So, as y'all see, the two wheels are already off on this side. So we're gonna go ahead and install those floating center caps and valve stems. Now I'm gonna get showing you what the wheel looks like before, what the wheel looks like after. All right, let's get it. All right, so for everyone that has not seen these before, these are the floating center caps. These are, this is a BMW OEM product right here. I'll be linking it down below on where you can get these from. Um, they're pretty cheap. And for the newer series, it's a 56 millimeter floating cap. Um, it's a little bit bigger on the previous series, but for the newer G series vehicles, um, it's gonna be a 56 millimeter, which is what this is. So I'll be linking that down below. And also I have the black M tire valve stem caps. So I think they'll look really good with the wheels that I have, um, the wheel and tire setup, and also complement the color on this car. So let's go ahead and get installing these super easy parts. All right, so as you guys can see right here, this is what the front rotor looks like when the wheel is off. And this is a six piston caliper um, in the front. And as you see, it's a little dusty. So if anyone down below knows the secret way to cleaning the wheels with them on the vehicle please let me know so yesterday we had a car show cars and coffee and i um you know cleaned my wheels the night before spray the wheel cleaner on let it sit for 30 seconds then wash it off and wipe the wheel down and then you know the rotors right here will get this rust going on so i'm gonna show you kind of right there you can see all this rust that builds up so it builds up from the the actual cleaner and then if, if it's like if you don't drive the car right after you clean the wheels they rust up and then whenever you use the brakes all that rust just shoots everywhere and they go all over the wheel and they just kind of destroy everything so people was like just take the wheels off and clean them that way kind of prevents that but that's not convenient all the time so if anyone has any products any tips tricks down below please please let me know because i definitely need them all right so right now i'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off some of this rust on the caliper here um you know since i had the wheels off might as well go ahead and give it a little nice little little quick little wipe here then what we're gonna do is i'm gonna go over to the wheel and show you how to pop out the center cap and put in the new center cap but yeah that looks a lot better already so yeah looks really good there so now let's go ahead and go over to the wheel and let's go ahead and put the center cap on the wheel all right everyone so this is what the wheel looks like and if i zoom in here you can kind of see that brake rust dust that's all over the wheel a little bit and that's what i was talking about that comes off um it's very irritating especially after you take time to clean these wheels and these wheels are not easy to clean so that's what it looks like right there so what we're gonna do is pop out this cap here. Now you can do this with the wheels on. I don't wanna do it with the wheels on for two reasons. One, I was already taking these off. And then two, I didn't wanna do it with the wheels on because I don't wanna scratch up these beautiful wheels. Like this, it's, this um, cap is incest deep inside. So I didn't wanna do it, risk scratching the wheel, doing anything like that. But it takes no time to take the wheel off. So might as well just take the wheel off and pop it out, pop, pop the other one back in and you're good to go. All right, everyone, so this is what the center caps look like. As you can see, boom, self-leveling. All of them kind of do that right there. It's kind of cool, man, kind of cool. So yeah, we'll go ahead and throw these on those. Boom, boom, have these looking right. So all you'll need to do is go from behind that wheel and pop it out. So, and I'll be linking this microfiber wheel cleaning brush down below too. Got it off Amazon, it's pretty cheap and you can definitely um, get inside this part right here. Spray this with like some cleaner, get in here, and wipe this, help wipe some of the dust off there too. So now I'm on this side, I'm just gonna get behind here, boom, pop it right out. Comes out pretty quick and easy. And now I'm gonna grab one of the floating caps. Again, just kind of level it up. Boom, now we are good to go. It's in there. It's actually, it actually sticks out a little bit more than the stock cap. The stock cap kind of fit flush with the wheel 
and these floating center caps kind of stick out a little bit. It doesn't really bother me too much, but it is something to note that the floating cap sticks out just a little bit more um, than the regular stock OEM cap. So I still don't think it looks cool. So what I'm gonna do now is change out the valve stem. Change out the valve stem, super easy. So these are the black valve stem caps. So we just wanna open this. Then once it's open, we'll just unscrew one, pop it out, take this off, and then put on the new cap. Boom. Now, now we are in business. Now we're good to go. That's it, man. So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean this wood off a little bit. And then when I come back, I'll be able to show you the finished product on the vehicle. So one thing that's gonna help us put these wheels back on the car is this right here. This is what they call a wheel stud pilot pin set. So what this is gonna help you do if you don't have a stud conversion, which I'm getting ready to put a stud conversion on this car. So if you wanna see that video on the installation, please um, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when I post it. But this is for people that do not have wheel studs um, and this is a pilot pin set. So these wheels, if anyone's trying to take them off and put them on, they're not the easiest to put on. So what this does is you get this pin right here and you'll be able to put it right on the rotor, right in. Actually, let me just go ahead and show you. So as you guys can see, you're gonna feed this right into here. You don't have to go too tight. Finger tight is, is good enough. And it's gonna help you get the wheel on. All right, so you can kind of sit it right here and it's gonna help you guide the wheel on and kind of assist you in putting the wheel on. So these will be linked down below as well if you're interested in getting one of these. I think if you don't have the stud kit, this right here will help you get the wheels on and off a lot quicker. So like I said, using this helped me guide it all the way on and bring it all a little closer here. So this is the stud right here that I put on. And then now that it's on, it's small enough that I can unscrew it. And I can get it off without hitting the wheel, without affecting anything on in this area. So that's why this is very, very helpful. So now let's get these on. So these are 17 millimeter you'll need to use. So start at the top, just get it slightly in there. Always go opposite, at least that's what I do. Right here. Right here. Then one last one right here. So all right, that's the impact gun. Everything's on. So we got our valve stem right here. We got the floating center cap right there. And we are looking good, man. We are looking really, really good. All right, everyone, so I have this torque wrench right here. I'm gonna be linking it down below so you can get this exact torque wrench and how I'm using it. So this is a 17 millimeter. I got an extender on it just so I can make sure I can get clearance of the wheels. And right now I'm putting it right at 100 pounds um, for the torque specs. So how this one works, you kind of just put it in there. And then as you start twisting, you'll hear a click. And once you hear it click, that means stop. And you kind of want to do it slow. All right. All right. 
think that's it. So I always like to check all of them after I do it just to make sure. And we're good to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rear and then we'll flip over to the other side of the vehicle. I probably won't put that on camera because it's the exact same thing, but you guys can kind of get the effect. So when I actually, when I come back, it's all four wheels are gonna be done. All right, everyone, so the floating center caps have been put on. Also with the black M Sport valve stems, they all have been put on, man. So let's see what the finished product looks like. All right, everyone, so as y'all can see right there, we got the wheels, man, so looking good, looking good. So that is the valve stem, black with the M logo, and then that is the floating center cap. So it's a, well, they call it self-leveling. Some people call it floating, some people call it self-leveling. But as you see, it'll spin, and then it's gonna automatically level, be parallel with the ground, man. So I think that's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool, nice touches. So like I said, they're gonna be in the description down below if you're looking to order some. And I think they look pretty cool. They add like nice touches. Very, very nice touches. All right, everyone. So that's gonna be today's video on the valve stems and floating center caps, man. So took the wheels off. You don't necessarily have to, but I did. So makes it a little easier, you know what I mean? So um, one tip, don't do this in the heat. As y'all see, I'm sweating. It's a little hot today. So it wasn't the best day to do it, man. But um, definitely, definitely like, definitely subscribe. And I got some, I'm bringing the heat, man. I'm keeping the content coming on the G80, man. So y'all stay tuned for that, man. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop a new videos. And that's gonna be it. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.